I have a feeling the show's gonna be really boring. Mm. <laughs> Just heading into Oxford city centre now to uh, meet up with my friends for lunch. And Ella's here. She came in the night. And yeah, headed off for brunch. Oh, it's good. Break of the first world years. All answers to questions about Albania, Persia, Serbia. This is Sean. Hello. Sean lives in Zurich. Previously lived in Ireland. Before that in Munich, in Germany, and before that in Luxembourg, which is where I know him from. That's a very interesting call. Well, you know, I have to tell people who you are, or they won't know. Indeed. Just Citizens of Europe rejoice for the Migro iced tea gum sugar free has come to you. Courtesy of the Mikko Genossenschaftsbund. See my plants. This stuff is amazing. It's iced tea, peach, chewing gum. So, please. Thank you, sir. Can I have some? Miss, Mr. Dunn, for your pleasure. Thank you. It's so good. A bunch of kind of students, rebellious students, started this uh, movement to show how silly all these Oxford traditions were. And yeah. basically, on the um, Midsummer's Day, they basically walk around backwards in their robes. They walk backwards around the square like uh, three times, drinking sherry and um, saying something like "Hail the Revolution." And now, because it's Oxford and Oxford doesn't get irony, this has actually become a tradition which the master takes part in every year. <laughs> <laughs> You give it money and you get luck from it. It's <laughs> Griffin. That's a bridge of size. Isn't it? That is a bridge of size. That's Hartford. So this is uh, two buildings of Hartford College. College bells will ring at different times because colleges used to set their own time. Oh yes. Yeah. And they still follow their own time. They still follow their own time. And some 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 colleges ring their bells like 99 times, and that was because you know at one point several hundred years ago they had 99 students, and there was a curfew in the town for a long time, and each bell would signify for each student to come back. Get your ass back here.
I do like the fact that you have a wallet full of SIM cards. <laughs> it is a very Sean thing. Wow, in this day and age. Gorgeous. Oh, in this day and age, as a spy. <laughs> now I don't have a phone with dual SIM cards. Guys, I have an important question. Namely, milkshakes or donuts? Donuts. Connor is uh, fast approaching. Oh, no. And there he goes. I think it's out. How long are you sticking around in Oxford for? Probably till late May. When are you going to. Where are you going? The plan is to go to Tanzania. Tanzania, that's not. And I don't know yet. So far, it's very springy and comfy. Red Street. Uh, yes. Alright, good. Right. We've lost them. I know. But I feel like they've probably found the donuts. So good. Two weeks in or so, yeah. yeah. Get to bed. Yeah. Say if you're in Berlin again. Thank you. Yeah. This is Joe. Say hi, Joe. I really wish this was Germany. I would definitely be well within my rights to knock that out of your hand. <laughs> 